this time of year, it can feel like we're committing to so many activities and responsibilities, and it is easy to get overwhelmed and stressed. Yeah, today I spoke with a psychologist about how to manage those expectations. There are a lot of things packed into just a few weeks at the end of the year. Family gatherings, more work gatherings, school gatherings. We have end of the year concerts and performances. It leads to a lot of pressure and stress, even if the obligations are positive things. Dr. Treg Thomas, a clinical psychologist with Corwell Health, says this is his biggest tip to manage it all. Focusing on what you value most. It's not that you don't do things that are not fun, but place your energy behind what's most important to you. It could be the family gatherings or what gives you the most fulfillment. It could be maybe baking or buying gifts for people or doing charitable activities. Think of what really just gives you that warm sense of purpose. Then set boundaries. That might mean skipping certain gatherings for yourself or your kids. They're going to be out of their routines this year. And there might be certain things that you say, I'm really sorry, we're not going to be able to take part in that um, just because it's best for the kids right now. A big point of stress this time of year, presents. Pressured to maybe spend a certain amount or buy certain things. You don't have to find a perfect gift, but maybe set a spending limit with family. Do an experience together, spend a day volunteering together, or just decide not to do gifts. Why are we really doing this? What, what about this brings us a, a sense of fulfillment? Is it a dollar amount, or is it the thought, or is it simple togetherness. Your holiday may not live up to your personal expectations or look like everyone else's, and that's okay, and admitting that can save a lot of that stress. You may say to yourself, this year is just different. Even saying something as simple as that to yourself, this year is just different, can make it feel like maybe it's not as catastrophic as it feels like it is.